Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you. Depend on where you're watching us from. I'm Azoka OJ. Wow. Barry Stage of Fumes over OJ. Uzo Carlos visit to um Kano in DSS custody. Uh, according to reports, uh, Barrister Ifanya Jofo, the lead counsel to uh, detain Namde Kano has um, demanded investigation of the visit of former governor of Abia State, Ojo Zokalo, to his client in the custody of the Department of the State Services, DSS. That was last Monday. A report has it that uh, though he avoided mentioning Carlos' name, uh, the lawyer said the visit was a violation of court ordered guidelines for visit to his client in the custody of the DSS. Uh, Carlo, the Senate Majority Leader, had uh, visited the IPOB leader who is being uh, detained in the custody of DSS uh, based on a uh, court order on Monday. The Senator uh, shared the details of the visit, including the picture he took with the IPOB leader on his verified Facebook page. However, with Ojuz Okalo's statement after his um, visit to Nam Dekano in the prison, IPOB adherents say uh, they understand that Nam Dekano defiantly lambasted him. Hence, um, his statement on whether he will continue advising him. <laughs> Ojuz Okalo, uh, during his statement, called Nam Dekano supporters insane because of the, his frustration. It's like what he went to didn't work. On you know, according to IPOB and so this according to IPOB, he said on the disgrace he got from the of course from Kano. He said he went and this IPOB went on to say that um, no matter what Nam the Kano earlier said, he has already uh, chose that before going into Biafra agitation. And his kidnap is the worst mistake by the Nigerian government. So a Jovo who obviously also visited his client on Monday was not amused by the visit as he accused the DSS of um, adding the violation of the guidelines for the visit, which he described as a bizarre and unusual. According to Ijofo, um, the DSS is not oblivious of the terms of, uh, uh, you know, of the court's guideline, which uh, they have consistently maintained in the past that it must be obeyed to the letter and through which positions they have denied many friends and attorneys of Nandekano access to him. And now, caution was thrown in the wind. Yes, um, that was on Monday. Uh, you know, this, his interview was on Tuesday. And he said, instead of insisting on this full compliance with the existing guidelines, the DSS, for reasons best known to them, allowed the visitor access to him even before the time scheduled for the formal visit and without his lawyers being present during the visits as ordered by the courts. So the guy either sneaked in, I don't know. <laughs> so he stressed a further that if their client's attorneys, his flesh and blood brothers and his wife will visit him in due compliance uh, with the court ordered guidelines, how can the DSS authorize a visit from any other person in gross violation of uh, these guidelines isn't that a political gimmicks at work age of four asked according to him uh, there is more to it that meets the eyes which the dss is now under a compelling duty to explain to us he pointed uh, granted that ojuzo carlos name appeared among his uh, the list submitted at the 11th hour alongside the names of the lawyers scheduled for a visit. It is noted that um, they have uh, initiated a formal process towards ensuring a thorough investigation of what transpired while he visited. And I said they shall not hesitate to formally address the world on this subject if there is any attempt to sweep their uh, petition under the carpet. He pointed out also that um, the order of the court and the terms has laid down uh, guidelines to regulate visit to their client is to ensure his maximum protection from persons who may wish to uh, secretly seize the opportunity to hurt or intimidate him into accepting a false narrative outside the dungeon uh, where he is being illegally detained. And they could achieve this through threats and or coercion. 
Hence the need for the presence of his lawyers before granting audience, he added. I think it your voice making sense with this. They need to know who visited and when. They need to be around because of his mental state at the moment. Um, we said, well, according to their routine visit to Nam the Carriers, um, that was on Monday, Barrister Jeffers stated that their client's eyes are always on the ball as he has remained ever resolute and unperturbed, despite being uh, gravely disappointed by those he hitherto trusted. Who are those he, he, he trusted that disappointed him? He noted that victory and nothing less than victory is their goal. And, it shall surely end in victory. Wow, that's a nice one. That's a nice feat. That's having hope against... No, it's not against hope. Having hope. Well, um, the fact is that DSS violated the court's directive on those to visit um, Nam Nekano. Um, visit to him were restricted to his um, attorneys and uh, some family members. So suddenly allowing Ojo Zokalo into the facility to see him is suspicious. I Meanwhile, um, we should also look at it from other angles. Ojo Zokalo uh, could be used by the federal government to negotiate with the pro Biafran activists. This uh, as has been in the past, yeah. There are insinuations that the presidency may want to release Mazen Namdekano and will want a trusted negotiator to speak with him and uh, Perhaps they find Ojo Zokalo worthy. And it could also be that um, the executive do not trust his attorneys, his lawyers, to really provide information as from Unnam Dekano himself uh, without any form of influence. So in this case, Unnam Dekano may want this, but the lawyers may demand another, overruling his... Um, overruling his... Um, his own decision since uh, some say already that he might not be in the right frame of mind uh, to decide for himself as uh, due to the trauma in the dungeon and like you know the fact that uh, being in the DSS um, custody facility it can alter one's way of reasoning that place is hell even so already talked about it so it is possible the IPOB leader may be asking to be freed on conditions that may not be pleasant to his attorneys. So perhaps they need someone else to hear him. And we also noted that there is already a dissension in IPOB's camp. There's a dissension with some refusing to listen to what his brother or attorney say as coming from him. The other reason Oji Kalo did what he did could have to do with Igbo presidency 2023. Already, um, Kalo had been showing interest to run for the presidency and visiting Nandi Kano having a role to play in what is looking like his release soon it could help him, uh, you know, his chances of getting Igbo support ahead of other aspirants. You know, people can play politics with anything. And it's an opportunity for him. Many have been pondering on the reason behind that visit. Uh, could the federal government be trying to use him to get information from Nam de Kano? A think tank even uh, said it is possible he wore recording devices, security devices, to the meeting. What exactly prompted Oji Uzokalo's visit? And why is it that DSS had to ignore the court's directive and allowed in him? And this was the same day his lawyer went to see him. They had to do it without the knowledge of his lawyer. Again, like I said, perhaps most of his decision from the dungeon had been influenced by his lawyer. Perhaps they want someone else to hear him out. Like um, I said, and I've had some people say, Nam Nekano could have asked for release on certain conditions that his lawyers may not also want. 
So viewers, what do you think? Add your comment on the comment section. Tell us what you think.